Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to create a rosette with your Cricut. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started. So right here, let's go on the left side panel and click on images. You see these boxes here? This just means it's been filtered, whatever I may search for. Click on this filter and you can see that I have checked these boxes to narrow down what I'll be looking for. Let's go ahead and type Rosette and enter. I'm going to scroll down so you can see what kinds of Rosette that you can create. There are tons of different kinds. But I'm going to choose this for this tutorial so click and then insert. Now we're back on my workspace and up here you can resize the image to whatever size you prefer. I'm going to ungroup the image so I can see how big each of the layers. So this one is about 9 inches in width and 4 inches in height. I am using a 8.5 by 11 cardstock so I know two of these will fit on one cardstock. And on the layer panel you will see that each of the layers specifies cut, score, cut, score. And see this line of dashes, this just means it's a score line. Let's go ahead and click make it. On the left side panel, it shows you how many mats will be used. And on the mat, you can change the material size by clicking on the arrow and you can choose the size that you need. Same thing with mat number two and mat number three. I'm not changing the size, so I'm just going to click continue. This pops up because I have my dial in custom settings and I already have the cardstock here as my favorite. Or you can click on the browse all materials and up here, just type the cardstock and enter. You can choose on one of these depending on what cardstock you may be using. And I'm just going to click on this one and then click done. Then right here, you can manage the pressure of the blade to less or more or stay in default. In my case, I'm going to choose more. So now let's go ahead and prepare the mat so we can load it to the machine. So I'm just placing the cardstock on top of the mat and I'm using my roller to ensure that it sticks onto the mat. So insert the mat onto the machine and slightly guide it in and then press the arrow for the mat to be fed into the machine properly. Next, you will need the scoring tool to score the rosettes to create that indentation on the cardstock. So open the slot A. This is the adapter. So I'm going to put my finger on the bottom of the adapter. As I insert the scoring tool with my right hand, just push lightly and you will hear it click. Close the latch. Then just hit start. So right here, I already have one of the rosettes assembled and I'm just going to assemble what was actually cut in the video. And here are the pieces. And I also cut another circle that I wanted to add to this particular template. So what I do is I stack it and fold them one side all at once, just so I don't forget which way they should be folded. We're going to fold like a fan fold.
Now that I'm done folding, I'm going to use hot glue to put them together. So put glue on this side of the cardstock and connect the other side of the cardstock on top of the other. Then you just repeat with the rest. Now that it's done, just have both sides meet by placing the hot glue on one side of the cardstock and then placing the other side of the cardstock on top of it until the glue dries. Now just gather the cardstock together and I just sort of stick my fingers and hands in the center to open up the cardstock and I'm going to flip and place it flat on my table. I'm just using my vase to help me secure the cardstock not to open up. While well, I go ahead and put some hot glue on the center. Then I'm going to place this circle and just let the glue dry. Then I'm putting glue again at the center. Then place this circle that was part of the template. And there you go. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and you can also find me on Instagram. You guys have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.